Hello viewers, and welcome to the fourth and final part of Visual Studio Tour. In this last part we will learn how to make an automatic backup for Visual Studio project. We will install and configure DPAC extension for Visual Studio. DPAC extension is a professional tool used by many programmers. DPAC provides many useful features including the solution backup. Let's begin with the downloading of DPAC extension. Use Google and search for DPAC extension for Visual Studio. You will probably get the same search result as you see on the screen. Otherwise you can find downloading link in the video description. We will download the DPAC extension from Visual Studio Marketplace. Click on the Visual Studio Marketplace link. Here you can read about DPAC extension and its specifications. DPAC comes with many useful features including the solution backup. Now download the installation file and run installation. The DPAC installer will automatically find out Visual Studio on your computer. Click the Install button. Installation is completed. Now open Visual Studio program. If your Visual Studio has already been opened then you need to shut it down and open again. Continue without opening a new project. Here at the top you will see a warning sign regarding the newly installed extension. You need to approve it by clicking, allow synchronous autoload option. Click yes, your Visual Studio should reload itself to take new effects. As you have noticed, the warning message appears again. Now click on, don't show this warning message any further. We are now good to go ahead. You will find DPAC extension in the tools menu. Right now, DPAC is installed and associated with Visual Studio, but DPAC is not fully configured. So click on the option and search for DPAC extension in the list. Expand DPAC by clicking the node and then select Solution Backup. Here you just need to check the first checkbox, which is backup the entire solution. Finally, you need to define a backup folder. Click on the Browse button. You can define whatever location you want, but your location must be secure. Like I am choosing a folder named, VS Backup which is in my OneDrive and the location is quite safe. Backup location is defined. DPAC will take the backup, and all the backup files would be placed inside the VS Backup folder. Now click OK button. DPAC is ready to use. Let's give it a try. Open a new project. Now take the backup of this project. Click on the Tools menu, and then choose DPAC, and finally choose Solution Backup. Click Yes to take the backup. Backup is done. Let's go inside the backup folder and check the backup file. Here you see, in our defined backup location, we have Solution Backup in zip format. DPAC creates a zip archive of the solution. You can easily unzip the archive by doing the right click on the file and then choose Extract. This is the end of Visual Studio Tour series. I hope that you have developed some basic skills to work with Visual Studio. Thanks for watching.